location. Anytime that you see the form in black, that's going to be your old form, and in red will be the new form. The, there's just a few cosmetic things that they've changed on the, on the form that really aren't going to impact your software um, fields or anything like that. The first is that they've replaced the, um, they've replaced the header with a QR code so that when these forms are scanned in, the insurance companies, the scanner can tell it, hey, they're, on, they're using the new claim form. Another little cosmetic thing is that they've changed TRICARE and CHAMPAS to just be TRICARE, and they've replaced serial numbers with ID numbers. Um, really, the rest of the changes that we're going to talk about directly affect um, where you put information in the software. Um, so just to note, there are new fields that we'll talk about that are called you know, reserved for NUCC use fields. Only the new versions of both Metasoft and LiTech have new fields built into the program to accommodate information that needs to be sent in those fields. So there are new fields that have been added to your program. The first field is, that's changed is box eight. We used to send patient status in that box, since that's not something that is sent electronically, and we're trying to align those. They have removed that field, and it's now just a reserve for NUCC use field. Um, box nine, very similar. Because we don't collect other insured date of birth and sex electronically, um, that information has also been stripped out, and it's been changed to reserve for NUCC use. It's important also to note that um, in individual insurance companies can opt to require you to put specific information in you know, a designated field, and they can use these reserved for NUCC use fields. So that's, again, why we had to add those new fields to the program, so that if you are if you run across a scenario like that, and hopefully there are few and far between, there's still a way for you to populate those fields. Box 9C is another one where it used to be employer's name. That's not collected electronically, so we've changed it to reserve for NUCC use. And 10D is, um, was reserved for local use before. They've now changed it to claim codes designated by NUCC. Now, this is one of those places where the instruction manual comes in handy because according to the instruction manual, the claim codes identify additional information about the patient's condition or the claim itself. So from the program, um, in both Metasoft and LiTech, there are areas where condition codes are already being recorded. The new forms have been programmed to pull those condition codes into that field for you. Box 11B, another change, they've removed the employer's name or school name, and they've added other claim ID. This is also the first time we're going to see a qualifier that's been added. So in multiple cases, they've added qualifier sections to the form itself. Um, in this case, it's going to accommodate a two-bit qualifier. So again, you can refer to the instruction manual. But in that instruction manual, it'll tell you the only qualifier that they have set up right now is the Y4 qualifier, which indicates that it's a property casualty claim number. So for you, in your programs, you have, like in Metasoft on the policy tab, there's a, a field for claim number. In LiTech, it's on the billing options insurance tab. If you put a number in that field, then the form itself is programmed to automatically add that Y4 qualifier and print that number along with it. In box 14, um, another place where they've added a qualifier. So they've changed the title slightly. We're still putting a date in there. But we've added the qualifier field there um, to indicate what type of date we're sending. So again, in your programs, you already have a place to enter in that date, and you already have a place to do the illness indicator, whether it's a, an, an illness or injury or LMP, and the, pro, the form itself has been programmed to pull the correct qualifier for you. Box 15 is another one that has changed from, it's, it was um, if patient had some or similar illnesses, give first date, it is now designated as simply other date, and again, we've added a qualifier. So in your programs, 
you already have places to record these dates that maybe that you might need to include on the claim, and the program, the form itself will pull the correct qualifier according to which date field you use. There is priority to this, so if you if you have recorded more than one date, well, the form will only pull one date, but it's going to put it in the priority level that you see there. And again, this information is documented in more detail in your release notes. So. Box 17, we're still sending referring provider information. They've added a qualifier field to this one as well. So from the program, depending on which referring provider field you're using and, and how you set it up, um, it will again pull the appropriate qualifier for the information that's included. Box 19 has changed from reserve for local use to additional claim information designated by NUCC. Um, now this particular field, there were pages under the NUCC manual on how you can use this field and when to use this field, so I'm going to refer you to that. But know that there's a new field in Metasoft and MyTech that um, allows you to record that information. And this is the, the field that probably most people were aware of and focused on, and that's box 21. Um, big change here. We used to only collect four diagnosis codes. That has now been expanded to accommodate up to 12 diagnosis codes. And you can see the pointers have changed from 1 to 4 to be alpha pointers. So we have from A to L. Um, in addition, we've added in there an ICD indicator. Um, we're going to talk later on about ICD and some of the challenges that will surround that, but um, because we're, one, implementing before October 1st, and we'll be using this form after uh, October 1st, and there are some exceptions to who has to send on an ICD-10 code or an ICD-9, they've added the ICD indicator, and that's something that your current programs are not going to be able to handle, so be aware of that. that the, this is a significant change to the form itself. You have the ability to expand the number of diagnosis that you are entering in in transaction entry. So if you are limited right now to four diagnosis, you can go into your program options in Metasoft and you can increase the number of diagnosis if you will need to be sending more diagnosis on your claim. And in LightTech, you'll have that same capability under preferences on the general tab. Box 22 has just a simple modification. It's no longer Medicaid resubmission. They've changed it just to resubmission. And box 30, they've deleted balance due because that's not something that was reported electronically, and it's now reserved for NUCC use. So hopefully you get the idea from that that um, there have been some significant changes to the claim form. And again, if you're not currently on Metasoft version 19 or Litech 2014, you're not going to have the, the tools and features and programming that you'll need to appropriately fill out this form come April 1st. Or hopefully you, know, you have a, still a little bit of time to get it in before April 1st. 